Good morning. Hi, my name is Colin Brown, and this is my brand new channel, Learn Payload CMS with Colin. Um, and that's what I'm going to be doing. My first 100 videos will be dedicated to just me learning Payload CMS from scratch, starting from bare bones install all the way up to uh, deployment. And uh, so. That's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to be learning payload, and you're welcome to, uh, if you get any value out of it, um, that's great. But uh, for me, this is just a commitment that I'm going to be making to, as quickly as I can, uh, publish my first 100 videos um, and not make a big fuss over it, um, just because, you know, I'm uh, perfection is sort of a, a blocker for me. So... Um, so I'm just not going to care, and I'm going to learn payload. And by the time I'm done with my 100 videos, um, hopefully I'll have a broad range of skills around it that um, I will be able to uh, present it in a little as more as an expert and a master of payload. And uh, so that is my goal. And so for today, uh, my first video is bare bones install from the very beginning. And uh, yeah, so here we are, payloadcms.com. And here's the back end to build a modern web. And I'm going to go, I'm all in on payload. So this is why I'm doing this. I know I've seen it used. Um, I've played around with it a little bit. And I think this is going to be the future of Next.js development. Um, at least for the next uh, five years or so. So, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just install this. This is all this video is going to be is just me installing, getting it connected to a database, and um, that's it. So we're going to do this. We're going to copy this command, and then we're going to head over to our terminal. And we're going to give it a project name, and we'll call it YouTube. Uh, well, we'll just we'll do this. Learn payload, and we're going to start with a blank template rather than some of these other templates, it's especially not the plugin template. But the website template is a is a full uh, set of features that you would expect out of a website, kind of similar to maybe WordPress or. Any, any other kind of website builder that has everything you, you would imagine, posts, pages, um, global settings, and uh, redirects, and caching, and all of this stuff. But for me, and that could be a good starting template for you because there's quite a bit of boilerplate that you wouldn't have to worry about. But for me, I um, just starting from scratch, I think it's really important for me to get a handle on the very, 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 very basics. And this is the only way to do that. So we're going to do that. We're going to choose blank. And I'm going to go ahead and create a Postgres database because I don't personally like MongoDB, not for production anyway. I like SQLite for getting uh, projects set up very, very quickly, especially when you're learning. Um, and of course, Vercel, both Postgres. I don't want to use a remote uh, hosted database at the moment until I'm ready to go to go live. But uh, I'm using Postgres SQL because I want my end-to-end -end experience uh, to be fairly consistent. So as I'm learning Postgres, I want to under, I'm sorry, as, as I'm learning payload, I just want to make sure I'm, uh, I have a good handle on the database connections and when, when I'm ready to go live and I don't have to think about any weird SQL problems converting from SQLite to Postgres, for instance. So, um, so I'm just choosing Postgres SQL. I do have a local database running already. Um, it doesn't have a password by default. I'm just going to do that. Installing dependencies. This might take a little bit of time. Okay, so now we cd into learn payload. And you know what? I'm going to use NeoVim today. I'm also learning NeoVim, so what better way to learn it than to use it? 
So we have, what do we have here? We have a source directory, tsconfig. I think there's a way to, uh, oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, let's see. Toggle hidden H. There we go. Shift H in the Explorer. Okay. I just wanted to make sure I saw all of the files, not just not just this the unhidden ones. So alright, we have git source. I don't think we need we need to we don't need to worry about this Docker file. I think this is just for if you, if you wanted to run it in Docker, whether it's in production or even local, wouldn't worry about that. Uh, let's take a look at the README. Oh, <laughs> uh, interesting. That is not the case for me. I'm not sure why it did that. Uh, okay. All right. And Docker Compose, ESLint, Next Config, Package. Okay. What do we have in our package? We have build, dev, don't know what that is. Don't know what that is. Generate import map, I'm not sure what that is. Generate types, uh, probably for generating types. Uh, lint, payload, start. I'm guessing we do the dev command as it said in the um, instructions. Engines. Okay. So let's open up a terminal. And let's see. We'll do that through here. All right. And then we'll do pnpm dev. Okay, let's check it out. Uh, localhost 3000. Open up a new tab. Okay, 404. This is expected because we don't actually have a front end yet. We did, we chose the blank template, meaning it's it's pretty much nothing but the back end. Um, there is no front end. And if you're familiar with Next.js, let's take a look at um, uh, the, let's explore the the source folder here. Oops. All right. Go over here. So let's go into the source folder, app, payload. So you can see there is no, there is no layout or page index or page um, .tsx file. So my route, this looks like an API. Yeah, so let's, let's go to my route and see what happens. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, created a, an API route uh, for us, just as an example, I suppose. It's not really doing anything other than maybe returning a user. So let's go to, uh, we can look in here. You can see there's an admin folder. There's also an API. We don't need to worry about that. But let's go into slash admin. This is really where the the heart of the back end um, part of the uh, framework is. So let's do that. Let's go to slash admin. Uh, 
Okay, so we currently do not have a an admin user, so it wants to create our first user, uh, our admin user. I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do Colin at example.com uh, password password. Cool. Here is our admin panel. We have users and media. There's our there's our first user. So I'm guessing now if I were to go to uh, my route, we're going to see the Colin user. My route. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. There it is. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's go back. Elements, filters. Okay. Pretty cool. So that's it. I think for this first video, just just getting comfortable putting these videos together. Um, and so that I think the next one will go a little deeper and we'll just each step of the way, just a little, little, little bit deeper. So, all right. Thanks for um, joining me and uh, we'll see you next time.